Hello Livewires! It's Tip Tuesday! Today we're going to be making some fun ear cuffs out of wire. I'll start with about an 8 inch piece of wire and a couple inches from the end I'm just going to bend it with my round pliers. And then we're going to measure about an inch and a quarter. Put your finger on the end and bend it back. So it looks like a zigzag. We're going to take a sharpie and then hold the end and bend it around. This wire is pretty soft. It's 20 gauge wire. So we're just going to bend it around. You can use a smaller sharpie as well to make it a little bit smaller or a pen to make it even smaller. So here we're going to hold it on the round form and just a little bit over from the end, maybe about half an inch, we're just going to hold that with our thumb and bend it up. And then I want to make a spiral. Hold it to the end of the sharpie or another kind of round form. And this I'm going to bend up a couple of times. You can also use a ring cone to make a starting of a spiral. And then we're going to clip this flush. From there we'll get our round pliers, hold the end, and just with a flick of the wrist we're just going to turn this end around so it's closed there. We want to bring the spiral in a little more. I'll link up some other videos I have on how to make spirals. I like to make them on the cone and we're just going to again slowly bring it in just by twisting a little bit. So there's the spiral. You can push these in to center it a little more. You could even do it by hand. Bring it back on the round form, the pen or whatever you have. And here you can hold this and bend this up as well. You can make another spiral there or if you want it more discreet just get your round pliers and bring it in to make a closed loop. And then we're going to clip it and pinch it closed. This is the part that's going to go over the ear. If you need it more round just get your pliers and bring it in a little bit more. If you have a mallet you can always tap it a little bit too to harden it up a little bit. And there you have your cute and simple little ear cuff. And if you want to add a bead you can get a head pin or make your own head pin with 20 gauge wire. Just one end with the round pliers you're going to wind a little loop. This is a little six millimeter faceted bead. Clip it to three eighths to half an inch. Take the end, bend it back and around. Adjust this so part of it's closed. This part here should be closed. There's a little space at the bottom. Put the little bead on the head pin into that space. Close it up. And there you have the ear cup with a bead. If you're using thicker wire, this is 18 gauge wire, you might want to form the curve first. So get a pen or a sharpie and just bring it around. A full curve. Get your round pliers, hold the end and then bring it around. Do the first loop, put it back on the round form. If you have a metal mandrel it's even better and you can tap it with the hammer to harden it up. So we're going to bring this one around. We want to leave a little bit of an opening to slide it onto the ear. I'm going to hold it in a way that you guys can see it. So I'm going to hold it here with the round pliers, bring it around. So we have it not quite closed there. Put it back on the round form and bring it around. 
back to the other side. Remove it. Hold this right under the other one and bring it around. Put that one back in, bring it around here. And we could do the same here. Hold this with the round pliers and bring it around. And if you want it very discreet, just with a couple of loops, we can just take this end, bring it up here, clip it so it's flush, and push that end in. Continue this one so it's a little more rounded, and do another loop on that side. So just do your turn. And clip that one. Pinch it so it's flush. So this is going to be one side, and this will be the other side. This is the smaller size Sharpie. You could do it on a larger Sharpie if you want. And there you have a very simple and classic ear cuff. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.